So are we going to continue pretending that this isn't here? Like this big old scab that hurts? Or are we going to level up? Mm -hmm. Because I saw cycles continuing over and over, not only with my mom, but relationships and everything was like bleeding into each other. And so 2019 was a growth year. For sure. Absolutely. So I can definitely relate to you because I did have some things that I had to deal with with my mom and like really old things that just kind of, you know, sometimes it's like you do have a misunderstanding or an argument or something. And instead of working through it, it's like, so are you hungry? (laughs) (laughs) You know, and it's like, it keeps building and then eventually something happens and you're like oh this hurts yeah I need to fix this Mm -hmm. so shout out to therapy (laughs) and growth for 2019 because man yeah shout out to folks that hold space for people that are processing you know um for general I think that's a a very important and very necessary and beautiful work when people receive that calling and when really say yes to it, you know, because we need it. Yeah. So someone that also offers, it's yeah, so someone necessary. that also offers that support, it's so necessary to know that I have people like us that can hold space for me too, you know. I'm grateful mm-hmm. to them for that. I definitely am too, because without the community, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know how each individual person would be able to continue. Yeah. And so we have grown. How are you feeling about the coming year? It's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. I am feeling, you know, I think I'm feeling all kinds of things, actually. (laughs) Like, you know, I feel excited. (laughs) I feel definitely ready. And I feel prepared you know for what is coming Mm -hmm. because of how important this year is you know it's it's the start of a whole new decade for us start of a lot of things and Mm -hmm. a lot of folks that are following like a stick the cosmic movement of the planets know that the planets are simply a mirror for where we're at and where we're going you know they really really are and so i'm really grateful to how consistent the planets are always with us and, and showing us what what we're what our capacity is for growth and for reflection and for transformation and also for really challenging us and so i'm also really grateful for that that cosmic energy that's really pushing us um to 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 evolve a lot of different things to evolve out of a lot of things that are unhealthy that are not useful that are toxic you know but to also you know bring us the support that we need to to, to deal with what is present for those, those of us that are dealing with shit, you know? So I'm really excited for 2020 yeah. um, and all that it's going to bring. Uh, and I definitely feel like a lot more ready. And yeah, because I feel like 2019 really took me, like, it, it challenged me. And I think it challenged me in a way where I was going and digging deep into the things I didn't know I could. I didn't know I had capacity mm. to go that deep with my own stuff around what needed to yeah. what I needed to to really move through you know and I think that now mm-hmm. going back and looking at 2019 I was like wow it just gave us so much strength and it believes in, in us so deeply to do that you know mm-hmm. and everything else happening in 2019 was offering us like come on come on like that encouragement and that also that like that tough like reflection and mirror around like this is yeah, this is it. Like, are you gonna are you gonna like move through this? And if so, how? You know. Um, so at least I'm yeah. not again only speaking about my experience and what I lived through this year and what I experienced. Mm-hmm. You know? So I'm excited for 2020. It's really, it's really good. I feel pretty like ready for it for sure. Yeah, same for sure. So, do you follow astrology? Do I follow astrology? I'm like, what is that question? <laughs> do I follow? Do I? Yeah. Right about 
planetary like, am movement. I curious about the movement of the planets and how they relate to us? Yes. Do I read about astrology? Absolutely. Am I really good at it or understanding it always? Not necessarily, you know? No. Yeah, that's kind of Yeah, I'm definitely really grateful for the folks that are really good at it, you know? <laughs> they have and things. Mm-hmm. I feel yeah. like I'm always connected to astrology with the elemental stuff. So, like, I, you know, I definitely really connect to the element. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I like that about astrology. And so I always feel like with my connection to them, it comes down to, like, my connection with plants, with the mm-hmm. elements for sure, you know? But yes, I, yes. Yeah. Okay. Just curious, since you were saying about everything, the planetary situations that are going on. So I was just curious. You know, and I'm also learning a lot about, like, uh, some of the, the indigenous calendars, you know? So I definitely also am learning about how to, like, read and follow, like, the Mayan calendar and also the, the uh, Sonar Powali, which is, like, the, the calendar, the Azteca calendar also, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so those are mm-hmm. also, those are things that I'm curious about as well and that I have resources for that are helping me to understand different elements of it. Like, astrology is one component of it. Yeah. You know, there's, like, also these other calendars that are ancient you know and that have a lot of wisdom and that are that people have also really strong connections to it and really vast knowledge about and so i'm I'm really interested in those things too and i i read and follow folks that do that too that's really awesome i only vaguely know about like the mayan calendar and the aztec calendar but i just as it was explained, I realized how in depth and complex it is. And I know there's a lot of wisdom and medicine within just that because, I mean, they studied for years. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's really, really dope. Um, do you consider yourself a creative person? I do actually. I do identify as a creative person for sure. What does it mean to you? to be creative um well i think creativity is great you know it's, it means so much to different people for me personally it means my ability to always give myself permission mm-hmm. to just follow things that feel good for me, you know so you know there's been there was a time where mm-hmm. i really loved like loved earrings and i was wearing earrings all the time and i started making my own earrings you know and i was doing that like with Mm-hmm. doing a lot of things with my wow. hands is how I express my creativity for sure I play all, all kinds of different instruments I play the saxophone at some point I play the harana which is a, a guitar and instrument from Veracruz I've played different types of drums I've had congas at some point in my life I've had like you know like, to play the cajon wow. like I have I've had flutes in my life and different instruments i love rattles right now rattles are a big part of my work that i do and i just really love their sounds and so there's all these different sounds and there's sounds that that i love and music that i love that i make with like plants and all of that kind of stuff so i feel like there's always been some kind of creative Mm -hmm. aspect of me you know so you know i've done that right now i you know express a lot of my creativity through like my writing and, and my connection to plants and tending to them mm-hmm. in the way that i do and making medicine with them and just kind of doing that so i feel like part of me like being a creative person is that i've always kind of allowed myself to do things that feel good or to do things that i felt like i needed at the time to process or to be you know? mm-hmm. so i also like to like paint and draw at some point, I was in art classes for a while. You know, I just wanted to learn how to how to express myself. And I think because I've lo- I've had access to all these different ways of expressing myself, they they've all helped me at different points in my life to kind of process and and be. You know, so I'm really grateful for the for for all these outlets of creativity and for me following that consistently and always having something in my life that helped me move and get through things. I also was inspired. You know, I played sports for a while. That was a creative thing, you know, like moving yeah. moving my body oh, yeah. engaging and, you know, engaging in things. But for sure, I feel like music has been something that I've enjoyed the most um, and definitely like medicine making and being with plants and growing plants. Okay. That's really, really dope. So as we close out, I wonder, do you go more with the flow of things 
or do you have a set vision that you work towards to? Well, I'm a Gemini, you know, put it out there. So I feel like I okay. I won't put out everything, my entire chart, but you know, <laughs> no, no, my that's entire birth chart. But you know, like I feel like there's there, there's aspects of me that are very clear about things that I want, and there's aspects of me that are flexible about things that are possible and things that will happen, and so. I, I find myself being in both places and also flexible for them to change when, when needed to and when or when they have to, you know? Yeah, that's really dope. I ask you as a Virgo because I'm working through flow, but I tend to be, you know, tunnel vision. <laughs> y'all keep us, y'all keep us on fleet, y'all. I, I very much... I, <laughs> The energy, for sure. I've learned to appreciate Gemini's over the years. So I'm just like, oh, okay. I see where we can relate and learn from each other. (laughs) Definitely. I was curious about that. Well, I really appreciate your time. Please let us know how we can find you. If there's anything that we should be looking forward to in the coming year. Mm Mm-hmm. Definitely some kind of um, deck. I'm working on like an affirmation deck to start off. Um, yeah. So that's been a project that's taken me a while. There's a couple of decks that I'm like I'm working on another deck with an artist, and so that's like a separate project. But I definitely wanted to put out a deck that's specifically just me, um, and I'm working with my graphic designer on on that design right now as we as we're speaking, you know, for sure. And so that's gonna come out sometime in the summer of 2020. <clears throat> there's you know I'm, I'm kind of I'm starting this midwifery program so a lot of things are gonna kind of go go not on hold necessarily but they're gonna shift in how I do them because of the time that I require for me to be really present with that process of becoming right not you know of getting trained and certified because you know we are in the U.S. and that's something <laughs> that's very yeah. So with some of these modalities is that there's a certification process yeah. in order for us to do that work, you know? And so, mm-hmm. and I, you know, whatever. So that's something I know I just, I have to do and get done just so that I can, I can do that work um, here in that way. So I'm doing that, but you know, people can find me. I have my website on my Bruja Tip account on Instagram. So again, Bruja Tip is B are you j-a-t-i-p um, on instagram also you know my work with with, with herbal education is through hood herbalism h-o-o-d h-e-r-b-a-l-i-s-m so hood herbalism and then my website is just my mm-hmm. you know berenice dimas um, b-r-e-n-i-c-e last name d-i-m-a-s dot com and that's kind of where mm-hmm. folks can find out more about my work and what i do and connect with me in that way. It has been a pleasure. I'll definitely add all of this to the show notes. And I can't wait to see what 2020 brings for the both of us. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this conversation with you and your beautiful podcast. Best wishes to you and all the work that you're going to be doing and putting out this next and upcoming. Definitely. And we will keep in touch. I will definitely keep stalking you on Instagram. And um, I'm so happy I shot my shot because here we are. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for (laughs) reaching out. Take care and happy new year. Yeah, happy new year to you too. Thank you for listening to the show. Check out our Patreon, the website in the show notes. Rate, review, and subscribe or share with the homie. And don't forget that you are magic. No te olvides que eres magia. Pablié, use magic. Take care and see you next week.